Hello everyone and welcome to another third party upgrade review. Thanks to the team at Robot Kingdom, in today's video we're taking a look at the DNA Designs DK10. This is the Studio Series Ironhide Upgrade Kit. Uh, now I really like the Studio Series Ironhide. Uh, personally, I think the applications on him are in some way are better than what we got with the movie masterpiece i mean namely the arms yes i know there's a substantial size difference but at least these arms kind of position themselves where they're meant to um, i just cannot get them to lock in on him i'm really looking forward to uh, somebody like legendary toys or black mamba or somebody just modifying this to get it to work for me but anyway let's take a look at Ironhide to begin with. Uh, the biggest problems arose around these legs uh, with the lack of articulation on those feet and this rather unsightly bumper section there which kind of looks like uh, a fold across his stomach and this is where DNA with a DK10 set comes into play. Quick look at the back of the box we can see Ironhide kind of fully posed up there he's got extra for accessories he's got a new foldable bumper and he's got those adapted feet as well as the upgrade set we also get a pin pushing tool and a new replacement pin as well from where we're going to remove his standard bumper starting off with Ironhide's legs we have a screw here and a screw there we want to remove both of those and with those unscrewed we can lift this section up remove this wheel section so this is the standard foot and then we're going to bring in our new replacement foot that's going to go on exactly the same way as the previous one came off there we go that's a really tight fit but it fits nonetheless and these parts here are going to go back on exactly the same as they came off there we go, even with just the one foot changed over, you can already see a vast improvement there. We've got this pivoting on the heel, and we've also got this articulation and this added detailing. Next thing you want to do, you want to gain access to these front wheels here. I've just kind of partly transformed it up. You want to remove these wheels from either side so give them a little push and if we look where these wheels are there is a pin just above here now we need to get our pin pushing tool and line it up with said section a bit of brute force and ignorance has had to give that a proper good push and now it's on through and we can slide this back out that now allows us to remove this bumper section bring in the new bumper make sure that these slide all the way in like so and now the pin should line up there we go that's fully pushed in and now we have the new bumper section all applied and we can just push those wheel pieces back on either side like so now let's see how he looks in his bot mode and what a difference a kit can make look at that it really tidies up that waist section this all folds up tabs down inside this crotch piece here these then flip around to the back line up with those rear exhausts and really does tidy him up and we've got this ankle rocker on here as well this now this enlarged would really in my opinion be a definitive iron hide now of course we are not yet finished we do get 
added accessories as well. Now we can laden him up with all of his weapons. And here we have him with his guns on his back there. Now we get a knife on each one of these guns. Uh, the knives can be stored in various different places. Uh, wherever you see one of these tabs, you can pretty much store the knife. Uh, personally, I like them being mounted on those hip skirts there. And then we've got these rifles, which just sit just up over this shoulder section. They just literally slide and tab on. Or of course, they can also be mounted in his hands. But absolutely adore how Ironhide now looks. What a difference an upgrade kit can make. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that already do have this Studio Series Ironhide. So it is a definite for those, in my opinion, because it really does change him leaps and bounds. And just turning him upside down in his vehicle mode, you can see everything tucks away really nicely. These just tab in to the front of the road armor section there. And we've got the feet, they fold inwards. And these are the toes, these are the toes here. And these here are the toes, but everything's clear enough so nothing scrapes on the floor. Then remove the knives from the flatbed and the handles facing down. These are just going to push and tab in like so. Our knives can then slide on to these sections here, like so. And then using these tabs, we can just slide that in and that in like so. I believe that's right, but there you go, that's fully armoured up. It's a very versatile kit, I really do like it, and I really am hopeful that we're going to get this figure oversized by a Black Mamba or somebody like that with all of these added parts, because it would knock the official Masterpiece version out of the water. Yes, we've got a little bit of a underside undercarriage bit going on here maybe we can rectify that with a folding tab on this crotch piece but all in all i absolutely adore how that looks once again dna have done an amazing thing thanks again to the team at robot kingdom for making this review possible if you found it useful give it a big thumbs up share and of course subscribe and until next time myself and the dna dk10 studio series ironhide upgrade kits ah goodbye